This video presents the plaster modification procedure for the transhumeral prosthetic socket. Here we see the plaster model after the plaster bandage wrap cast has been removed. Begin the modification by smoothing the cast using a half round shore form file. Eventually, all high spots will be removed so that the entire cast has been touched by the file. The anterior wing will be reduced to the deepest point created during the casting of the residual limb. Follow the contours created during the casting in the deltopectoral region and the angle of the scapula. The posterior wing modification will be focused inferior to the spine of the scapula as shown. This modification creates a broad flat area for rotational stability of the prosthesis. Continue the modification on the medial wall. The proximal portion of the medial wall should be relatively flat, allowing the arm to adduct comfortably. Continue the global smoothing by following the general contours and removing high spots down to the low spots of the cast. Begin to remove a greater amount of plaster material proximal to the cut end of the humerus on the anterior surface. This will help relieve the sensitive end of the bone and limit motion within the socket. During shoulder flexion, the active force couple will be anterior distal and posterior proximal as shown. This socket will be an open shoulder design. The trim line for the lateral wall is marked as shown. Using a round file, reduce this point about 3 eighths of an inch. The amount of plaster removed depends on the size of the residual limb and the amount of soft tissue. Blend the lateral wall into the trim line modification as shown.
If a valve will be used to facilitate donning by use of a donning sleeve, the area of the valve must be flattened as shown. The valve is placed anterior and medial as far distal as possible but still allowing easy access.